Ooh, hello. Hi, welcome to another weekly freaking reading vlog. So it is Monday, February 7th. We had our final walkthrough of the house today at noon. It went great. My dad came with us. It was nice. It was fun. We put a lot of blue tape down and we just got an email that our mm, closing date is on Friday, which I have to drive downtown for that. I don't even care. I would drive downtown five different times if it meant that we could finally be done with this freaking process and moving into our house. So we very well may be moving this weekend, which means that this vlog is going to be a lot of audiobooks and a lot of packing. So hope you're into it, because even if you're not, that's what we're getting. Um, but right now I am at therapy. Well, I'm in my car. I've just arrived to therapy. <gasps> is there a person? Oh, God. Oh, dear me. Um, but I just am waiting for them to pass. Don't look at me. Um, I'm waiting to go in. It's at five is my appointment, but I'll probably go in a little bit early so I can just get such a waited, you know, I'm early to everything. It's the anxiety that I'm here for and it's the anxiety that brings me here early. <laughs> Love that. But, um, let's talk about books because when I get home, I have a sneaking suspicion I'm going to be joining Miss Katie Coulson and Grace, my fellow twin eight wing seven um on some reading sprints over on patreon so and technically this is overlapping with the 24 hour readathon that i'm doing so i am going to be reading a dangerous collaboration on those you will have seen all of my thoughts on that on sunday's video though so it should already be up it should already be there so if you haven't watched the 24 hour reading vlog that is where my thoughts on this book are, because I'm currently at 38%. I have seven hours left, but I listen on my computer at three times speed because I'm doing just fine. Thank you for asking, which means I only have two hours left of this book. So when I get home, this is what I'm going to be listening to. I'll probably finish it. I'll wrap up that reading vlog, and then I will probably just keep continuing on with that series, to be quite honest. Nothing else is really holding my attention in the same way, except I now need to text Gabby because we were planning to read the House Across the Lake or something, whatever that is, the new Riley Sager book during Summerween, um, but I just got a Night Galley arc of it, and... I don't know if I can just sit with it on my Kindle and not read it. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think I can do that. Uh, so, I might be reading that. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, probably not this week, though, because seriously, I have so much packing to do. I've only packed, like, majority of my books, but I have a whole lot else in that office, you know? So, I need to pack the rest of that. Praise God. That it goes well and smoothly. I need to get these nails off because they are not going to be conducive to packing and moving. And uh, I need to get my planner set up for the week. I need to get organized for the week to go back to work tomorrow. <sighs> Man, I have my observation tomorrow at work. And honestly, I never thought I'd be at the point that other teachers were where they're like, oh, I don't care. They can just come observe whatever. I'm there. I'm only on year three, but I feel like pandemic teachers are different breeds because I have never taught in a normal year. The first, the first fall semester I taught in 2019 was normal, and then the rest has been all pandemic year. So I just don't care anymore. Like, not in a sense of not teaching, but I'm just like, it's a walkthrough. That's okay. I feel like I've aged at three times the speed of a typical teacher <laughs> because I'm just like, what else you got? Like, what What else What else can you throw at me? Plus, like, our freaking government over here is just being crazy with all these extra add-ons but not taking anything back off. So, like, I feel like I've had so many things thrown at me that this is the least of my worries at this current point in time. Plus, I'm moving this weekend. So, you, like, you can't fail an observation. It's not a grade. Huh. I've unlearned that. And, um... I also don't care because I'm so excited to move this weekend that I'm just like, okay. Anyways, but we're doing escape rooms all week because we have a test on Thursday, Friday. So I want them to review, but I don't want it to be boring. So we're doing escape rooms for each unit. So today while I was gone, they did a poetry one. Tomorrow they will be doing a drama unit, 
which is Edgar Allan Poe, which is my favorite one. So I'll probably be playing like eerie, creepy thunderstorm ASMR over the loudspeaker because I think everything is like, even with the informational text unit, I do like articles about ghosts and apparitions. Cause I'm just like, y'all, we could make English so boring. So what if we did it? You know, like imagine. And uh, I think it's fun. I think it's spooky, scary, strange, and I love it. But enough about that. This is a six minute update about quite literally nothing. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go in to the building now. Um, hey, real quick, remember to drink your water, okay? This is my first, I'm not proud of it, but it's 32 ounces and it's got my liquid IV in it. So you know, it's a little bit extra razzle dazzle involved. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna drink three of these today. And you need to drink some water too. So uh, freaking do that. What about that? I'll fight you. You better drink your water. Miss, sir, there, I don't, I don't know. What's the gender neutral version of that? Y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna really go now. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hello, it's me on Wednesday. I don't know why, that's, this is not the opening of the vlog. I don't know what I'm doing. Let me take a seat real quick. Um, this office is a mess. I have boxes right here that are folded because I'm gonna use them in a minute. I have all these freaking boxes that, um, hello, how you doing? I'm not doing great. <laughs> And then I still have these books that I gotta put up in these frames and <laughs> um, okay. But I have my Illumicrate to unbox with you guys. So I thought we could do that before we get to packing because I really want to avoid it so badly. But we just found out that we are like officially moving into our new house on Saturday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You're right. That's three. It's three days. And we have not packed everything. Um, which honestly, it was because we didn't know with delays if we were gonna be moving this weekend or not, but <laughs> sur surprise, we are. So I have to like <laughs> get serious about my packing and I haven't been serious about my packing and now I'm seriously stressed and that's why I do voices. But okay, so Illumicrate, let's talk about it. I already opened this because I needed to feel something last night and it made me feel happy, so worth it. But first up, we have a We Hunt the Flame puzzle, which I do want to do puzzles more when I'm reading because I just, I guess, want to turn into Katie Colson. So there's that. Then there are these socks, which are Priory of the Orange Tree inspired, so y'all know I love them all already. These poor books, they're about to like get out and then go right back into this box for transportation. So this was a two book box, which I love when they do this because it always has such a pretty, is this handwritten? No freaking way. I don't think so. I love whenever they do this though because they uh, make such pretty paper back copies, but it is this book, which I have not heard of, but it's gorgeous. And it has these sprayed edges that match the gilding on the front. And then this is what I was saying looks like it's handwritten. I think it was handwritten, but then like printed on to the papers, you know, and then put into the book. I don't think it was handwritten on each one. Unless I'm just wrong. That could be true too. Then we have, this I think is a cell phone stand. Sorry, I do not want to take all this stuff out because we gotta <laughs> pack it up in five minutes. 
Um, and then there is this little necklace that I don't know what to do with. Um, so there's that. And now we have the final thing, which is the actual book for this month. And it is literally gorgeous. I'm so excited to read this. I have read the very first book by this author, but I have not read anything else. And I want this to be next. And it, ooh, the stenciled edges look like the Starless Sea and it makes me emotional. But it is The Woven Kingdom. And I have read Shatter Me. I enjoyed it okay. I wish I had read it when it was super popular and still coming out. I guess it's still coming out, right? I don't know. I feel like those books just like keep happening. But hello? No. No. But I love the bee details. I mean, I just love bumblebees. And then also like, look at that. Is this not gorgeous? Let me hide my face so you can really bask in it. Like, it's absolutely a stunner. It's a stunner. Look at it. Look at it. And then I like the spine as well. But see, this is why I'm going to have a shelf in my new office that faces away from the window. Um, because there's like a little part that's kind of, I mean, completely facing away from any sunlight. So it won't wash out the pages. But I want to face out a bunch of my stenciled and sprayed edges just to be like cute and fancy and i'm gonna be really honest this is gonna probably sound goofy weird whatever i'm on silly goofy mood but when i get books like this like really pretty especially from a lumicrate or fairy loot because they utilize the uk editions which i usually prefer almost always um their spines are built different <laughs> they crack and they break a little easier than the ones i'm used to and I hate being like super, super cautious with them. Like I am, but I just don't want to be, you know, sometimes I just want to like freaking throw my book in to go, but there's no dust cover for this. Like this is seriously the prettiest book I've ever seen in my life. Was that a syllable count? What was I doing there? I don't know, but I'm, I'm seriously in love with this. So I'm probably going to pick it up on audiobook. Hopefully the audiobook is good. Uh, and then that way I don't have to like read this copy because I don't something I've also noticed I don't know if any of y'all have read your editions that have like these sprayed stenciled edges But when I read a book, especially if it's like see this is what I'm talking about Like it just doesn't open a lot like I don't want to put pressure on it to open But it just doesn't like open, you know so I don't want to put the pressure on it to make it go open because then it might crack the spine and stuff. But when I hold on to my books, like I hold on to the pages, you know what I mean? Like to keep it open. And sometimes like my thumb will make an impression on one of the pages and like bend it. So then the stencil looks weird. It doesn't look like as nice because it's not as like close together, you know? So I just like, oh, I'm freaking in love. It's seriously so beautiful. So anyways, I'm done going on and on about it. I'm very excited to put together my library. And yes, it's going to be a video. I did a bookshelf reorganization video up here when we moved into this house. And I'm going to do one when we move into that house. I know I was saying that I was going to do a bookshelf tour, but I didn't think we we're going to be moving in this early. So obviously, my books are not on my shelves anymore. And there's no books to tour. So I will be doing a bookshelf tour once I do my bookshelf organization and setup video and all that good stuff. So I don't know what you would want to see first, but it's going to be a long one. And hopefully, actually, I'll also have an unhaul too. Like we're doing a trifecta. We're doing my three most requested videos of like life. When we move into this house, we're going to have the unhaul, which I'm going to probably do one more round of unhauls while I'm like setting up my shelves. And then I'm going to do a um, bookshelf tour and the bookshelf organization video. And I think this time with my bookshelf organization video, I'm going to do a lot more like actual talking through my thought process and what I want to do because... Um, I've seen a lot of TikToks recently that have been showing how to make a Billy bookcase look like a built-in shelf and I really want to do that and I want to get some molding so I need to actually buy a couple more of the extenders so that it goes all the way up to the ceiling and then get the molding and all that stuff which I can also probably do that in a video. Maybe that would be just in a vlog. I don't know. It's kind of hard to do dedicated things like that because I weekly vlog. So like that would naturally just go into a weekly vlog. 
But maybe I just won't call it a weekly vlog for that time. I don't know. I don't know, guys. But if you have any content, like, regarding home stuff or anything like that, let me know. I know I'm doing a video regarding, like, the process that this has been and, like, showing each step of the house, like, what it looked like up until literally Friday when we go and get the keys. Um, and I'm gonna put that on my Patreon as one of the exclusive Shaken Espresso tier videos. Um, it will probably be the one for March because that will be when everything is, like, settled enough. Hopefully, February would be great if I could get it up then, but realistically, probably March. But I'm excited for that one because it's gonna be the marking of a new era, of a new life. And I'm very excited to do it. I'm excited to like get rid of this huge chunky desk as well and to really just make it like the room is more of a library than anything else. I just think that's going to be so nice, so great. And uh, yeah, but <laughs> that's enough rambling there, I think. Um, let's talk about books. So I'm reading A Dangerous Collaboration. I am, let me check. I want to say I'm 66% of the way through. Yeah. I am 66% of the way, well, let me put it over here, where there's not a book, but 66% of the way through. And on my library app, I also checked out a, murder, a, murderous, a murderous relation and an unexpected peril, which are books five and six, I want to say, of this series. They're just the next books because I anticipate like binge reading all of these. But I'm also starting to get into an audiobook fantasy mood, and I don't know, I was thinking about picking up Empire of Gold uh, to finish off the Devabod trilogy, but I want to be able to tab that series, so I don't think I'll do that. But I might pick out House of Earth and Blood, which I'm trying to see if I have that audiobook already or not. It doesn't, my library doesn't have it. And it's only on Audible, so that's probably why. But I'm thinking I might get that one. Yeah, I just bought it. But I'm thinking I might listen to this one um, while I'm packing to get ready for uh, House of whatever, and whatever, Asthma and Breath, Sky and Breath, whatever. I, don't, I honestly don't know what it's called. I cannot remember. I don't know why. House of Blank and Blank. Okay, that's, listen, that could be like any <laughs> fantasy book at the moment, but y'all know what I'm talking about. But with this one, I'm already 200 pages into it. So, I mean, this should be a really quick audiobook read. Oh, sir, hello. Uh, I gotta check what chapter, but I was reading it again to remember everything, but then also I was reading it to tab it, but girl, I don't have time to tab it. <laughs> I I just have to get it done because we're moving this weekend so I can't read it this weekend either like I think this is just gonna be my audiobook so that'll be good because I've already read it twice this is my third and it's audio so you know it'll be a nice little thing to do while I'm packing but yeah I'm gonna go I'm gonna start packing and my camera's running out of space I guess I've never seen that symbol before so that's fun and also fresh. And I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to live, laugh, love. So let's get to it. This room is absolute chaos. Like, wow. 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 There's the unhaul books. There's more of my books I'm leaving. There's an unhaul. This is all the books that are leaving with me. And I think we're going to finally come to the end of the lights era on the bookshelves, at least for right now. Okay, hi, <laughs> I look great. Just wanted to update, it's 8.18 at night now, and uh, I got some packing done, not as much as I'd like, but you know, got this, got, <laughs> obviously that's coming to the new house, hello. So we have all of this packed up. Yep, 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 still gotta do some in there, but uh, yeah. The majority of my office is packed, I suppose. Um, I got to chapter 21 in Crescent City, so I'm just gonna keep listening to that. Uh, 
as I'm packing and doing everything in my life, I guess. But for now, I'm gonna go shower and we're gonna heat up some gluten-free muffins. And here comes Jake, clip clopping, ready for second dinner probably, which yes, he does get because he's a needy boy and he needs to eat more, we've been told. So, he likes to eat it, he likes to eat at like five and then do another round at eight. Um, and he has to go outside in between, so he's like a princess, but I'm gonna go now. I'll talk to you guys later. Hello, so it is, um, what day? Friday, it's Friday the 11th at 12.51 p.m. Obviously I'm not at work because I took the day off because we are gonna go sign, do our final walkthrough on the house and uh, be moving in tomorrow. Exciting! So you know, I got lots more books packed um, all the books are done, pretty much. Just it's like little trinkets, as you can see. And then I have some of my office closet left to do. But aside from that, really, there's not a whole lot left to get done um, in this section. Like, there's more in the rest of the house. I have to do all the clothes and stuff, which I'm going to do um, now in between the time of going there and whatnot. But I did want to update that I finished a book. I finished Delilah Green Doesn't Care. Um, I really liked it. I will have more, sorry, I'm like squatting down right now. I will have more of my thoughts about that one in the vlog going up on Sunday. So you would have already seen that. Um, I'm still reading a dangerous collaboration. I think I keep the green one, the green Veronica Speedwell, reading that, loving that, living, laughing, loving. And I also am still gonna work through House of Earth and Blood tomorrow while I'm unpacking and loading and all of that good stuff. So that is that. I just wanted to jump in an update because uh, I'm not gonna have a whole lot of time. I'm gonna go record when we get the house. I'm gonna record um, the like final clip of the Patreon exclusive vlog regarding the house, like building it, process, all of that. It's like just a couple months vlog. And so it's not gonna be like too in depth, too crazy, but I just wanted to put it somewhere and I thought, That'd be a good one for the Shaken Espresso tier for their exclusive video for the month. So for March, that will be the video. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go finish my side of things. But I will check in with you guys probably, hopefully, Saturday, tomorrow, or Sunday. We'll, we'll see. Show me where the Indian goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this I stand alone Show me where the Indian goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Get back the life I 
Exploring her new home. Take us on a house tour, Ginger. Are we in? Oh, we're in your bedroom. Okay. Oh, it's nice. It's nice, it's nice. Is that my bed right here? Okay, thank you. Oh, and the shelf for your books about domination and taking over the world. Got it. Got it. Love that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're kicking, kicking your brother out. Okay, got it. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Pretty happy with how things are going. Okay, hi, so it is Saturday and I'm looking rough and tough, <laughs> but we are here in the house, we've moved. Um, yeah, I do wanna walk y'all through and show you this chair that we just got. So this one is the one from World of Markets and it goes on like this. We like this one, yes? There is a thumbs up held. I have not yet gotten to have a cameo, but that's fine. And then I just went and got this, and I have a pillow and a blanket for it. This is Jake's chair, he's into it. And then I mean, here's what we really care about, right? Look. So there's that. There's some books. I have a three shelf there. Three shelves here, one here. We're gonna take these two doors off of there, and I'm gonna put my desk like right here facing out this way towards the windows. Jake is gonna love these windows, but look at this is a pretty big little area. So I do have these two drawers. I'm probably gonna put them like facing this way and the one facing this way just because this is a little too boom, you know what I'm saying? But I think it's gonna look nice. I do. And I apologize for the lack of vlogging because um, we are tired. Ooh, okay. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Olivia Reads Not A Lot At All Tay. <laughs> what? Um, I haven't read anything today. Although last night I did start The House Across the Lake by Mr. Riley Sager. I'm very excited about it. I'm already liking it. So basically the plot is that we are following our main leading lady who is staying at this house because of some reason we don't know. And she's just been newly widowed within I think the last year. So she's got that going on. We have the stereotypical drinking wine, drinking bourbon, definitely shouldn't be kind of thing, peeping out that window. And she saves the life one day because she's looking out the window while drinking, mind you. And she saves the life of a former model who has just moved into the house across the lake with some weird tech guy, which are there any not weird tech guys? Something to consider. But we right now are kind of getting to know that dynamic more and it's flashing back between before uh, when the model was there and then now which is when the model has disappeared and the officer I guess is um, investigating that as well as the disappearance of her husband slash his involvement in the case um, and listen I know that the woman in the window across the street no the woman across the street from the woman in the window I think I don't even know that thing with Kristen Bell just came out and I like it, like it's funny, but I like, I like this trope. I like the trope of the unreliable narrator. I like, you know, that she's looking through her windows, like seeing what's going on. I'm looking through my two windows now because I am the woman in the windows from now on. And I like it. I think, you know, it's, is it overdone if it's good? You know, I think that's a real conversation to have about actually like a genuine conversation about tropes because I feel like people are like well once these authors have done it then we're done we don't need to see it anymore which can get into an issue because publishing but I think it's a fun one and I like it but that is definitely the trope in this book which I don't mind but um my mom <laughs> is on my kindle account and she got it 
And she said she stayed up till 1.30 in the morning reading this book. I was like, because it was that good. Okay. Okay. So I have high hopes for it. I'm excited for it. She finished it really quick. I didn't even know she had started it to be quite honest with you. It's pretty impressive uh, time frame there. But we are at the house. Uh, my partner's friend just left and then my dad went to take the U-Haul back a while ago. He's been gone. I went and I picked up a chair from World, or not World Market, uh, Pottery Barn that we bought the other day because it was on sale because it was a floor model and I'm like, give it to me. So I'll show you in just a second. I literally bought a pillow and a really nice blanket from there because I liked the way that it looked on the chair and I was like, well, let's buy the set as like a housewarming present. But um, I will show you guys more tomorrow probably of all of our situation going on here, the books, all of that good stuff because I have a lot of unpacking to do and I guess I'll start filming my bookshelf organization thing. I, I, I might not put my bookshelves together right away this time. I did last time I moved in. I think I wanna actually kind of create like a plan. Um, and have a TBR shelf situation, adult shelf, YA shelf, the shelves. But for now, we're going to go to Target, get some groceries, necessities, get a treat for Jake and for Ginger because poor Ginger is doing that thing where she's like confused where she is. And so she's just meowing and looking for us. And it's it's sweet, but I'm like, baby, it's okay. <laughs> You're going to like this house real much, real much, real much. But I am also going to organize this closet behind here. We're going to take those doors off, I think, tomorrow. So, yeah. Sorry if this is really repetitive in some of the things I'm saying. I just can't remember what I'm saying because my brain has been going like, but we're going to go to Target now. So, come with us. How about you come with us? Do you want to come with us? Okay. Cue the B-roll. <laughs> Okay, so I realized we have not had a lot of moving vlog content. So let's go over some things. So here's all these boxes. These are all of our books combined because we're doing great. I, wanted, I want to take a moment for this chair. Like I didn't give it its due, but like this is so cute. It really is. And it's a little bit more green in real life, but it's more of like a soft teal. I don't know. It's more vibrant. The camera's not picking it up. She is getting happier with the place, I think. Um, but this is going to go in that corner whenever we get our new TV stand in, which I'm super excited to show you guys because it is beautiful. We got it from World Market as well. But here's this boy. We brought Ginger's bed, obviously, and we decided to move <laughs> the, the notorious mini fridge um, out here. If y'all don't know, that mini fridge um, is from two years ago, I think at this point, and, like this company reached out to me and it, I was like, this makes no sense. And on Twitter, I said, should I accept it back when I used Twitter? And pretty much everyone said yes. So I did because I didn't think it was real. And then it showed up. <laughs> so that's the story of how I got that fridge. Um, but yeah, these are my favorite collagen drinks if you're wondering, right there. And these are some like pre-made coffees that I like. Here, let me show you. Okay, yeah, actually show you. So they just have vitamins included. And they did send me the three flavors, but I like them, so that's that. I might have one tonight because it sounds good. And then these are my favorite ones is the matcha collagen, but I got these two last time I went to the grocery store just to try the different ones. So I will report back on those two. But yeah, then we went to Anthropology, and my partner wanted this lady and it is beautiful and it's a hefty piece i really like it i've had this for a while i think it was target 
And then I got these glasses. We only got two of these ones. And then we got matching sets of this. And then basically the blue version of this. And I really like them. I think that they're very beautiful. I'm very excited to get like a proper bar station to display them. But we added more greenery. Oh, look, she's found her food. Oh, we love that for you, girl. Yes, I did also get this, um, this little guy. It has a little spoon inside of it and it's for my brown sugar with my coffees, which I'll be setting that up tomorrow when I am awake again. But we got this fake tree at Target. So now we have this little moment going on. I really like it. We're gonna get this bookcase, like I said, from World Market here. It's on the way, I hope. And then I wanna get like a gold little table right here and set it there. But this is just supposed to be like, honestly, first of all, cute as hell, but also like if you're gonna sit down, put your shoes on real quick and then leave. Um, but I just, I like it. I love, honestly, I just wanted to figure out how to include this chair because I am in love with that chair. Is it not beautiful? And it's comfortable. Most chairs that are that pretty are not comfortable. Okay, so uh, we did go to Target, like I said, so I'm gonna flip you around to show you all the things that we got there because we got some stuff for the bathroom. Um, <laughs> So my partner doesn't realize this, but uh, they like a dark academia theme as well. I'm doing our bathroom based on what I think Veronica and Stoker's bathroom would look like. <laughs> um, so we're gonna, we just ordered some wallpaper swatches from this UK wallpaper company, and we're gonna find some paint that we like and just do the bathroom. That's gonna be our first project in this house. I'm so excited for it but it is gonna be an emerald and gold theme. So like this is, I mean, it's a plunger. It's not, it's taped up, but trust me, that's what it is. It's not fun. And then here we have a gold trash can because I just liked it. Uh, then I have my liquid ID because I'm obsessed and I didn't order enough. So I got this at Target. I got the passion fruit one to try because so many of y'all commented that you liked it. I tried the berry one right now, and I really do love it a lot. But I'm excited to try both. So I'm gonna stick these here, because um, this is gonna be like the spot for liquids. Because look at, look what we got going on right now. Mm. I need to get the Starbucks pods right here. I need to stock back up on this one. But if anyone was wondering, this is my absolute go-to for any drink ever. I just love it. Then this trash can, I just like the matte black look, but it is for the guest bathroom. And then we got some light bulbs because we also got these lamps. My partner already put um, one in the bedroom, but I saved this to show you guys. I really like it. My whole goal is with our bedside tables to not have them cluttered. AKA I don't put like a bunch of books on them. Not my camera not focusing because there's a ghost in this house already. Uh, then I got this little basket and then this little plant to go with it. And then all these towels and we're just gonna store them just like so. And I think that they are so cute and it's just a little hand towel thing. And then put the soap right there and look how cute that is. Like that's just gonna go in our bathroom in between our sinks, which we are going to redo the mirrors in our bathroom, but I'll show that later on. And then we got this wood soap dispenser. All of this is from Target, by the way. This one is to go in the guest bathroom because I am over people telling me that black and brown don't go together. It's absolutely false. It's slanderous at this point. I think they're a beautiful combination, especially when it looks like this. So. There's that. Then this is the toothbrush holder. I just wanted a little, you know, relaxed moment. And then we have this dish, which could be for jewelry if we take any off while we're washing our hands in the bathroom, but 
Um, we get a lot of Lush bars. So this is actually kind of perfect for that. And then this is what my partner liked and wanted. It's just this like little lavender fake plant. And y'all, fake plants are really growing on me because they just look so good. Like I think, I genuinely think this looks good. Does it look real? No, but I also don't want it to look real because it would be dead if it was real. You know what I mean? So <laughs> there's that haul. So y'all will definitely have to let me know if you like hauls and stuff like that. Um, I got a lot of people when I showed a picture of us like getting the keys and whatnot, say that they were super excited for moving vlogs. And I just wanna say, if you want moving vlogs, Katie Coulson is the one to go to because she did like daily moving vlogs and I just wanna be upfront and real with y'all, it'll never be me <laughs> because I just cannot I cannot, I just can't. But um, I did wanna include like all of the moving stuff in this vlog, so this whole week leading up. Granted, I did not really know that we were gonna be moving this weekend. When it was Monday, I had no idea we'd be moving this weekend, so. There wasn't a whole lot of prep time to like record a lot of packing and whatnot, but I will have videos going up of like, you know, the office being put together and then any projects that we do on the house, like I'll, I'll include those within our you know, weekly reading vlogs that we have together. So yeah, there's that. But let me know if you like this house stuff included. I really like talking about like life stuff and house stuff, not just books. So if you're down for that, please do let me know because I seriously genuinely love doing that. And I would absolutely be down to include that more for you guys if you're into it. I have been doing it a little bit more, like talking about, you know, like the, um, new water thing that I'm obsessed with and then just this moving stuff, but um, we can do it even more. Like, <laughs> If y'all see, we have this huge kitchen island. I'm ready to do like freaking grocery hauls. Oh, whoa, grocery hauls. Or, or, gro boy, how do we feel about grocery hauls? Because I love them, but I also watch a lot of lifestyle videos. So maybe that's just me, but uh, yeah, let me, let me know down below. Oh yeah, I think it's a new favorite. Chinchi. And then we have this boy who is enjoying his new spot. Look at that. We have this like curved out and it's just for him. And then we have this bookcase right here. And this right here. Oh, you can totally hear the shower, my bad, but it is what it is. And then we have two necessities. Ibuprofen that I will take later on, and a margarita. Yeah. You make me nervous. I think I might be hooked on you. I love the things you said, you said to me, to me, it seems like you like me too. Can take it slow, make sure we do this right. Canceled all my plans to be with you tonight. Tonight, so just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning, building chemistry. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next. To me, trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. You make me anxious. I think I might be stuck on you. I love the things you did, you did for me, for me, it seems like. You're dropping clues There's no need to rush So let's just take our time Dropping everything Cause you're stuck on my mind. Okay, hi. So, it is Sunday. The fun day. We did grocery shopping. As you saw, we went to the container store, got a couple of things to see like how we want to organize our 
pantry and we'll be working on that you know in the coming months uh we did get a new rug for the front of the house and i really like it but i'm gonna wait to show you until it is you know stable unlike me uh, because it doesn't have one of those like grippy thingies so yeah but um i did want to random life note say that first of all look at my freaking starbucks cup is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen what is it marikai marikai whatever that website is hello hairline whatever that website is where you can like buy and sell just random miscellaneous things people sell um pretty much every starbucks cup that ever comes out on there and if they're cute enough i buy them i also bought one but it went to my mom's house because we didn't know if we we're gonna be moving in here this week so i'll show you guys that in um next week's vlog but i have a hectic day tomorrow so i need to go to bed early but i wanted to update you one final time about the riley sager book so i definitely think this is gonna be one of those books that people who read a lot of thrillers are probably gonna be like eh, there's so many tropes i don't like it not making fun of them that's just my like other people talking voice because that's how i hear other people but i really like tropes i like tropey thrillers i think they're fun i think that they're exciting to read not everything has to be groundbreaking and brand new but I'm still looking forward to seeing what my mom is referencing since she, you know, slips lit into my Kindle and read it already. Like, honestly, I don't even think I had finished downloading it onto mine by the time she was like, hey, pick it up. So I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to read it and see what, what we're thinking, what we're... Of the twist, because... Sometimes, like, okay, for example, I'll say it, I don't care. I think Survive the Night was entertaining, but that doesn't mean, like, it was a good book. So, like, is it a good book <laughs> as far as plot, plot holes, development, characters, all that? No. But as far as, like, was I entertained the whole time? Yeah, I, I really definitely was. And Hairpin Bridge, honestly, the majority of that book I was entertained, but it was a bad book. Like, a bad book. And at the end of it, I didn't like it. I was like, no. Because the entertainment stopped about 60% there, because I was like, okay, we're just doing the same thing over and over again. But I'm, I'm really hopeful with this house across the lake. And I have to say, I think it was um, Gabby from Gabby Reads, you know, my co-host in life in Summerween, Winterween a new coming ween, all the weens. Um, sh her mom said, I think, it, I, I think it was her. Let me not put words into this woman's mouth. But someone said that they thought that this was Riley Sager's, like one of his older books, because he has been writing under a different name, under his real name before. And he really like made it, made it big under Riley Sager, the pseudonym. So I'm wondering if it's true, like maybe that Survive the Night was an early draft and it was a book that they just kind of like spruced up, finished and put out because he wanted to have one out a year, which I don't hate him for it, I get that. But it would just make sense why it was like, it went down like, Final Girls is not great. The last time I lied, I like it because I like the setting, but the thriller portion of it is not great. It makes sense because it builds up to Home Before Dark, which I do think is his best one. And then we have Survive the Night down here past where Final Girls was. Like the writing, like the actual structure of the writing was better. Like I'm talking about how the words were put together was better than Final Girls, but the plot and development was worse than Final Girls. So it makes me think that it was a first book idea, but that was rewritten and edited with like the new, better version of his writing, if that makes sense. And so now we're with The House Across the Lake and it reads a lot more like Home Before Dark. And I'm just like, maybe this conspiracy theory is just like a straight up theory. So yeah, um, I, I am liking it though. I want to get a physical copy for sure because the way that it's broken up, it's kind of weird. So like I mentioned in an earlier clip, it's broken up between um, before and now, I guess. And the before chapters are like two hours long on my Kindle. And then the other chapter, I just got to a now chapter. So I guess we'll see tonight what that's at. But I have to go edit this and all of that. So 
I'm gonna say an emoji for today is a house emoji, whether it's someone with like no tree or a tree in the yard. We do have trees in our yards, so if you want for accuracy's sake, uh, the house emoji. And I think that that's all I got for you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. I'll catch you in the comments down below and in my next video. Bye. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright